Hi, this is Mark Horton again, and we're now on our seventh video about European Interparties Pattern Review, otherwise known as Opposition before the European Patent Office. So the previous videos I looked at pre-grant, I looked at preparing the opposition, and now I'm looking about filing the opposition. Now, if you're the proprietor or you're representing the proprietor, when the opposition is filed, this is the first thing you'll know about an opposition being filed. Obviously, if you're the opponent, you may have spent nine months preparing your opposition, carefully getting your arguments together, getting all your documents together, preparing your uh, formality objections in terms of sufficiency of disclosure and added matter, and providing documents to support novelty and inventive step objections. Now, the opposition is filed, often filed very much towards the end of the nine months, because after all, if a further document appears, you don't really want the, to be having to refile the opposition statement. So it's, it's filed, and of course it's important to state um, who it's been filed by, and pay the filing fee, the opposition fee, and of course fill in the relevant forms. Now, as you may know, it is possible to file an opposition not in the name of the actual party which is funding the opposition, so it might be in the name of a um, patent attorney firm, or it could be completely anonymous, a so-called straw man opposition. And that might be important if there's perhaps some license negotiation or some other background where you don't really want to know um, to let the proprietor know who is opposing the case. Um, various pros and cons for that, but at the end of the day it can be sometimes a little bit difficult to uh, fully pull the wall over the eyes of the proprietor because often a fair guess can be made and a, a decision has got to be made as to whether it's realistic to, uh, to carry on with that route or not, but it is, it is an option. So, the opposition is filed, what then happens? Well, the opposition is then recorded by the European Patent Office and the formality considerations in terms of filing, the fee, the form and such like are considered and that opposition is then delivered to the proprietor or the representative for the proprietor. It'll land on the usually the representative's desk, the uh, attorney for the proprietor and they then have a few months Sometimes, actually, it can be quite a, a short time, maybe just a few weeks, before the European Patent Office sends a formal letter saying that all the oppositions have been received, if there are more than one opposition, or at least the time for recording the oppositions has now passed, and giving four months in which to respond. So, of course, from that I've hinted that there can be more than one opposition, and at the end of the day, there can be several opponents to a patent. If something is commercially important, then it's quite possible you could have two, three, four opponents maybe. Now in that situation, one thing to consider is if you are an opponent, do you have an option to cross-reference with other opponents so that different opponents could major on different parts of the overall proceedings so that you're not talking against each other, that you're not going to contradict one another. And of course the key thing there is to make sure that the um, instructing counsel for the, um, for the various opponents agrees with this procedure. But it can actually be quite useful to pool efforts and maybe there are documents which they have which you don't have and can complement one another. In any case at this procedure, at this stage, you might want to be actually looking at all the documents which have been opposed in the opposition and working out whether there's new combinations of documents which may be useful. That occurs whether you're the proprietor or whether you're an opponent. So you've got four months as the proprietor now to prepare and file a response. If you need a bit more time, then you can often request a two-month extension, and that is often granted, usually on the basis of some sort of plausible um, reason why you need a bit further time. So, thank you for listening to this further video, and I will now consider a little bit more about the proprietor response to opposition. Thank you.